This video is over how to simplify expressions. So we're going to model it, and then we're going to learn how to simplify expression. But before we do that, let's look at our number routine about um, distributive property. How many different ways can you represent the number 30 using the distributive property in the form of A times the quantity of B plus C, or A times the quantity of B minus C? So let's look at the first one. Hmm. I know 5 times 6 makes 30. It's equivalent to 30, so we'll do 5 times the quantity of 4 plus 2. Would that equal 30? 5 times 6 is 30. If I want to use the distributive property, 5 times the 4 plus 5 times 2. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 5 times 2 is 10. That adds up to 30. All right, let's use subtraction, the difference. So A times the difference of B and C. Um, let's do 10 times the quantity of so 10 times 3. So let's do 4 minus 1. Let's see if this one works. 10 times the quantity of 3 is 30 at work. But if I want to use the distributive property, 10 groups of 4 minus 10 groups of 1, 40 minus 10 is 30. So in our next activity, it's called the um, grab and dump. So you're going to get a baggie of algebra files, and you're going to put your hands inside the baggie and grab some, you're going to dump it onto the, uh, into your partner's desk. Then your partner will select like terms, like put all the x's, put all the positive ones, put all the negative ones, put all the negative x's together, and then they're going to zero pair them out and find out what is the final expression by simplifying it. So, for example, someone here dumped all of these in turn to someone's desk. As you can tell, they haven't collected it, so we're going to collect it for them. So, we're going to put the X's together, because the long rectangle represents X's. We're going to put the uh, negative X's together for one of them. We're going to put the positive ones together, two positive ones, and there's four positive, negative ones. So, here, they represented it um, x plus x plus negative 1 plus 1 plus negative x plus negative 1 plus negative 1 plus 1 plus negative 1. We can also do the same way if we want to. Um, this is x plus x plus negative x plus 1 plus 1 plus negative 1 plus negative 1 plus negative 1 plus negative 1. Another way we have represented is how many x's are 2x plus a negative x plus how many positive ones do we have? 2 plus how many negative ones do we have? Negative 4. That's and simplify it right there. But now we need to find some zero pairs. Um, let's see, let's use highlighter. These are zero pair, they go away. These are zero pair, these are zero pairs. So what is left? I see an x and I see plus negative 2 or x minus 2. So let's do an example. I'm going to dump some stuff on you. Let's go to a new screen. Let me dump some examples. So someone just grab some. And I'm just All right, here is our answer. So let's collect light thumb. Um, 
two. Oops. And this and this. So let's write out what we have. Two ways I can write it out. Oops. And I have an x plus x plus x plus negative x parentheses plus negative x parentheses plus one one plus negative one plus negative. Can I simplify it a little more? Well, these are three x's plus these are how many x's? How many negative x's? Negative two x plus positive two plus how many positive negatives? Negative two. Now it's time to zero pair them out. Just using my highlighter. All right. This, 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 this. I think we're just left with an X. The answer is X. Let's try another example. Uh, I'm describing anything. I really have no idea what I'm doing. All right, now here is our. Uh, we grabbed it. We bumped onto someone's head. Um, so now it's time to like, put these together. These together. We're collecting like terms. I need a block. And collect, collect, collect. So let's write out what we have. Um, two ways you can write it out. One way. Not sure what I did. Uh, X plus X plus the Highlighter, that's fine. Put a zero pair. Highlighter, zero pair. Let me use a different color this time. This, uh, zero pair, zero pair, zero pair, zero pair. So I am left with my final simplified expression on negative 2x plus negative 2, or negative 2x minus 2. I see minus 1 and a minus. You know, negative two is the same thing plus negative two is the same thing as minus two. In case you forgot, do you remember something called adding the opposite? So now that you understand it, grab and dump, now it's going to talk about some more examples. So now you're giving the expressions, right? Written to you, and you model it. Three x's with six x's, three, four. All right, six and two more x's. Anything here from here? So we collect like five. So we, I could write six. So it's nine x's. Next example. So we have a x. x with two x's and positive seven or five, five, six, seven. So I see, does anything zero pair here? I don't think so. So it's three x plus seven. Next example, we have negative three x, one, two, three, plus five x's. Minus four, one, two, three, so adding negative four. Collect like terms. So we did now zero pairs. I don't know why this is not moving. Zero pairs. 
zero pairs. So our final answer is two, two X's plus negative four or two X minus four. By the way, is it okay to say this negative four plus two X? Is there anything wrong with saying that? No. Remember in commuted property, it does not matter if you're adding the first term to the second term or the second term to the first term, or they will be equivalent. Next example, we have negative four. Let's see this works. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, minus five, one, two, three, four, five, plus eight x's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Does anything, so we collect it like something in L, but does anything zero pair out? I don't think so. So it's negative eight. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Negative nine plus eight x four, eight x plus negative nine, or eight minus nine. Next example, we have x with plus four, one, two, three, four, minus two x's, minus three. So let's collect these big. So now, um, so this goes, this zero pairs out, this zero pairs out, this zero pairs out, this zero pairs out. So all we are left with is the following answer. We're left with negative one x plus one, negative x, one, you can say one plus negative one, one minus x, are all equivalents. Three, so next one is three times two x, three groups of two x. Here's one group of two x, here is a second group of two x, here's a third group of two x. So the answer must be six x. Remember, this means multiplication. Next example. Three times the quantity of x plus four. If you forgot how to do distributive property, you may want to go back and look at the old videos. So here's x plus four, and then it's three times the quantity. Here's x plus four again, and here's x plus four. And then let's collect, collect like terms. So we have, does any zero pair? Nope, three x plus 12. Or even 12 plus yeah. And our last example, what's two times the quantity or two times the sum of x plus three? So it's x plus three is two times it. So we need another example of x plus three plus five more x. Three, four, five. Let's collect like terms. There. So does anything, any zero pairs here? No. C is as six. Be six plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, seven. I was gonna say seven. So what we just did is we learned how to simplify expression. To simplify expression, you must collect like terms. So you put all the x's, collect, collect all the negative x's, collect all the positive ones, collect all the negative ones, and then if you can zero pair, zero term out. So you can make it more simpler, more easier to read. And this is how to simplify. Expression.